lovely disciple. How was the show? Fucking amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely right. class. Heavy, man. Fucking heavy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good crowd. Good crowd, man. Was it what you were expecting? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I think so. You're never I'm sure what to expect, really, are you? You know yeah. what I mean? You're thinking. It could go either way, but it came up brilliant. So yeah, yeah, cool, apart mate. from Bloodstock fans, always kick ass. Yeah, man, fucking right. right. They like heavier it is, they like it. You know what I mean? And we're pretty heavy, so they were happy. I think. We'd be heavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you guys played here, it was it 2010. Yeah. 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 We won the Metal to the Masses tour in um in, in Bournemouth, and then we played the New Blood stage, had an amazing time, and now we're back here two that years was later. Fat man, yeah. New Blood stage is yeah. fucking yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. So what have you guys been up to since then? Recorded and released an album, um, done a couple of videos, The Shrine of Dharma and The Westboro Massacre. Got a bass player. Three more. Hey. Hey. Uh, got a bass player, Paul Welshy Williams here. Yeah. yeah. Welsh, Welsh boy. So since, since the Metal to the Masters in 2010, it's just built up, you know, it's, that's such a good leg up onto the metal scene. Yeah, yeah, without Metal to the Masses, I don't know what a lot of you know, underground metal bands, it's really it's something to aim for, Metal yeah, to the Masses, well, well, definitely. Well, Metal to the Masses, most people don't actually realise it, but it's one of the most important things. Yeah, man, Simon Hall, mate. UK Simon team. Hall, a fucking legend. Simon Travel Hall is the fucking, like, the granddad. Years after that, we we're on a bigger stage, man. you know, bigger, better stage. Country, but after a year in the back of a van, trying to get bands out there, you know what I mean? Band, yeah. Fucking, uh, and that's him. what metal's about, really. Yeah, cool. Kicking Half this festival yeah. wouldn't be here. Metal's Mass is a major part of this festival. Yeah, yeah. Without him, you know what I mean? It's brilliant, it's fucking brilliant. Now you guys released Death Hammer on uh, Metal Hammer, was it? No, yeah, Terrorizer. Oops. Oh, yeah. oh no. Um, what was the reason behind that? Just for the promo, you know, we, we're not in it to make shitloads of money, you know. We want to give, give the album away for free if we can, just so more people that hear it. More people come to your shows, man. That's it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. If you burn it off a mate or download it, just fucking have it. Yeah, do yeah, yeah. We'd rather be heard than paid. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the vibe, mate. I got a job to live with, so yeah, just download the album and have it. So, so what's the reception been? How have fans been taking? We've got Bloodstock 2012, man. It's Sophie, Sophie Lancaster. We've just, I've just been bought a couple of beers. Free beers. So that was pretty awesome, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Some fans like just bought beer. us a round of beers, so uh, yeah, amazing. We've got yeah. the best, best fans. Yeah, yeah. I think because I think we're quite old school and quite true and straight up, you know what I mean? No, 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 no bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're not a bunch of willies. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we take the best aspects of every kind of genre of metal, well, what we think to be the best. Yeah. And surprisingly, yeah. a lot of people agree with us. Yeah, right, yeah, you know. yeah, very surprisingly. Fast <laughs> and heavy. You know. yeah, I was going to say, talk a little bit about the album because it, I was going to say it is really, really technical, it's really heavy. Well, yeah, that, we don't well, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I, I think technically, yeah, perhaps. It is, um, you know, it's, it's out there, but like um, the ethos is more on uh, the thrashing and the, yeah, yeah. you know, we doing what we want. Uh, we're all like uh, fans of similar music. You know, we, we've got the two grind heads here, we've got the thrash heads, but we all love death metal yeah, yeah, yeah. and we all respect anything that's good about any metal. And we think, that sounds good, do we want to do it? You know, like, yeah. just okay. good. And it's all about the live performance as well, yeah, because yeah. you could be the best band, you could sell millions, but you could play a gig and you could be completely crap. Which For most example, big band Crowbar, are. best band in the fucking exactly. best band. In the crowbar band. were yeah, wicked oh, and yeah, they're slow, boy. and we love playing fast, but still, Crowbar are wicked. You know, <laughs> it can be slow and be good, but I suppose we like to be fast mainly. But you know, the Play Disciple are all about the live performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah all, yeah, yeah. all about the live definitely. performance, man. Not live, live but you do it on record. It just sounds shit when you That's watch a band. band like, you sit and play live, and you watch them live. I sit and hear the record, and you watch them live, and they're not that good, you know. What's the point if you can't do it live? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. If, you, if you like, most bands do write songs, and when they play it live, they can't quite pull it off. And I think. If you're a band, you sh every single song that you play live, you need to know. If you're overlaying your album with loads and loads of guitar parts, but you can't play it live, what's the fucking point? You know what I mean? You know. Now, um, I just wanted to have a quick chat about the video for Shrine of Dharma because it's pretty sick. That is pretty great. Yeah, that is yeah. awesome. talk, talk us through those who haven't, who may not have watched it yet. Okay, well, um, the video may not show this, but it was recorded in a pigeon. Shit, shit in infested warehouse. It, it, it was a complete mess and it was amazing. It was in Leicester and it was horrible, yeah. I got to, Jeffrey Dahmer deserves a disgusting video, to be yeah. fair. He's I, fucking, I got to saw a cow's tongue up with a fucking, with like, frustrated saw. I mean, I wrote the fucking, I wrote the lyrics and like, what Jordan, like Jordan, uh, Jordan Saunders, is it? Yeah, yeah, Dead Jordan Saunders, Dead Parrot Productions, like, 
he just he came along, he charged us fucking nothing for the video because we haven't got any money. Do you know what I mean? Like we all work full time, we got nothing. Like and he's Dead Power Productions is Jordan's the coolest fucking guy we know. And he did that Two whole video, videos, got actors in. Not even a metalhead, but he's yeah. getting up limbs and hearts and shit. And like, the guy's a fucking Christian. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. The guy's a Christian, and he was just like, at one point, I think I'm gonna have someone getting strangled and suffocated with a plastic yeah, bag, like, that, and have spunk was, going onto their head. That was his mum. For yeah. a Christian, that was, that was his he's mom. done yeah. really well. He's done he's really like, well. He's awesome, man. And like, he did our latest video as well, the Westboro Massacre. For like, anyone who hasn't well, seen yeah, him, the like, end of our album, like, yeah. trying to dumb it is the most death metal song on there and West Borough is the most thrash on there it shows both ends of what we love you know what I mean from old school thrash to yeah, the diversity in the album is, is real good man I'm happy it's with it it's the same with the videos you know, I don't think you can tell it's the same band really like you know well I hope you can well, like, you know what I mean well, yeah, one of them is just full of meat and sores and yeah, blood yeah, yeah, yeah. and the other one was just like favourite moment as well on Shrine of Dharma is when you start soloing and the fucking the heart goes in the Dharma. blender yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what else have you got, guy? Uh, what else have you got coming up this year? Uh, we've got a tour of Eastern Europe starting uh, early September, 4th of September. Bosnia, fucking uh, Serbia, uh, Turkey, Greece, Turkey, Greece, Turkey, uh, Greece uh, Romania, all those kind of countries. India in December, isn't it? December, yeah. With, uh, with Bloodshot Dawn, our pals. Yeah, yeah. Ending, up up in the, uh, ending up in the Bangalore Metal Festival, which has got Bayamoff and Gojira headlining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously Behemoth, who played here tonight and were fucking, like, played like a couple of days ago and they were fucking sick. So, like, it's going to be awesome, man. Just, but just since playing Bloodstock, it's all kicked off, you know? That's what gets you up there, is getting to play here. Yeah. And um, we're just playing Bloodstock this year. It's been amazing. And hopefully, we'll uh, main stage 2014. Fucking right. Fucking right. Sweet. No, thank you very much. Just everyone come to Bloodstock next year and just fucking kick everyone's fucking asses. Yeah. Stay metal. Fucking, fucking yeah, stay metal. Just stay cool. fucking true and kick everyone's ass. Blast beats all the way. Yeah. And all you gotta do is smoke weed, drink beer, listen to death metal, yeah. my friends. <laughs> Big tip. And crowbar. I'm down. Listen to crowbar. <laughs> I'm down, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thank you.